Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, Silver Stackers. Hello, Coin Roll Hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Pennyhaven. And first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. All right, so today I'm just going to show you a few, few things that I picked up at my local coin shop today. Uh, so I went in, you may have seen my video recently where I've started a couple of nickel folders and uh, I've got a buffalo nickel folder and I'd been in there a few weeks ago at the local coin shop and they'd had little packages full of uh, buffalo nickels. I'm like, ah, I was sorry that I missed that. I went in today and they had another one, uh, 25 buffalo nickels and it was a decent price, absolutely. And I looked through as much as I could, and I can see plenty of full dates. I saw some uh, full horn buffaloes, so those are, yeah, just a couple of those makes up for basically what I paid for this. And yeah, mostly full dates. I saw a mint marker too. I saw some horns on the buffalo, so I got a good deal on this. Hopefully, I can fill out some more of my book. Then I decided to do something else. I I was going in there to get a uh, Walking Liberty half dollar in 1919 to fill out my son's gift where I'm giving him a 100 year old coin for every year. And he's uh, two, he just come from coming up on his third birthday pretty soon, so that'll be uh, 1917, 1918, and 1919. And uh, so I got that, and I thought, uh, I'll just grab an extra with a good date and see if I can maybe turn that around and sell that for a little bit. So I got another 1917 one in best condition. So I got a good price on it and uh, see if I might be able to sell that. And with the same thing in mind, I went to another uh, coin. This is more of a, uh, a, a card shop. You know, they've got lots of baseball cards and whatnot. I went, I looked through some of that. That's not really my thing. I don't know enough about it. I did pick up a couple of cards on the cheap uh, St. Louis Cardinals cards. Okay. I've, I revealed my favorite team, hate me if you got to, but St. Louis Cardinals all the way. But they had uh, one, one case full of coins and some decent prices. And so I decided to try to cherry pick a couple of things out of there. They were selling all these half dollars at basically melt cost. So I went and I found the nicest walking Liberty half dollar. It's a later date, but um, it's got some beautiful uniform aging the date is very clear as is the motto that's important uh, you can see many many feathers on the reverse and you can see basically all of the lines in the gown these are important things to look for whenever you're trying to uh, you know, estimate the grade on a walking liberty and i got this for like a literally a few cents over melt and this is absolutely uh, worth more than that so there's that and then i got i'm a big fan of the franklin so i can <laughs> in my uh desire to get a new one i can overlook some things and bringing this home i'm afraid this is going to be a cleaned coin so yeah more fool me but it's a 1951 it had the best uh it had the best lines on the bell so that's what i was looking for you want to see you want to see lines uh, near the bottom of the bell and in this band in the top here. That's another thing you want to you want those to be as little worn as possible. That's a good quick thing to look for when grading a uh, Franklin half dollar. Date looks good. Uh, all the lettering is just fine and had the lines. So I thought I'd bring this in, but I'm afraid when I look at the fields, there's a, a good amount of scratching. So I think it's been clean. Anyway, I'll just put that in my stack and. Uh, not try to flip that one, but I think that 42 was a really good buy considering the condition. Okay, so yeah, that's not really something I do. I thought while I was out, I'll I'll speculate a little bit. I'll see if I can cherry pick a couple. I got his two nicest, well, his one nicest uh, Walking Liberty at basically melt value. You can't go wrong with that. Okay, especially when silver's down where it is right now. All right, so I just wanted to share a couple of those finds with you. You think I got burnt? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you like the look of those coins, let me know. Hey, if you want to buy one, I might be up for that too. Anyway, I'm going to go fill out that book with these buffalo nickels, 
and maybe I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Thanks so much for watching. This is Michael from Penny Haven. Happy hunting. In the end, I wound up with three additions and five upgrades. Plus, I now have a duplicate of one of the lower mintage Buffalo Nickels.